Okay. Okay. Here we again. Uh, today we have again the associate professors Tufan Adugizet from uh, Faculty of Educational Sciences, mm -hmm. and he is also the coordinator of uh, distance education unit in Bakshir University. And our topic today is on formative evaluation. So Tufan Adugizet, what is the formative evaluation, um, and why are we doing it? Like the guys in US, I can say that it's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, uh, we should say that formative evo evaluation is really the most important part of instructional design. Uh, why? And let me start with the misunderstanding of formative evaluation, and then I can give the definition first. Uh, formative evaluation is like kind of an evaluation, what you do most of the time, because it's, it includes post-tests, but it maybe uh, gives an impression uh, to the, you know, the, the designers or the teachers or the instructors and your product is complete. Formative evaluation is in the, you know, the production process. That means mm -hmm. it's kind of a beta test technically. And suppose that when the Windows new version is released, so what you can understand that, first of all, the test engineers um, do the testing. So what that means is alpha test, mm -hmm. and then they just release it for the you know potential customers or maybe developers. We call that one as formative evaluation or beta test. Right. So technically, formative evaluation is kind of beta test. Maybe uh, some of you experienced this one when new version of any kind of application or operating system uh, was released. Uh, misunderstanding is that. Formative evaluation is in the production, you know, the process. That means when you do formative evaluation, you shouldn't maybe think that your product is complete before that. So you should think that, okay, after formative evaluation, maybe your consideration uh, will be uh, whether your product is complete, whether there is any revision is needed or not. Okay. So formative evaluation is just kind of uh, uh, an evaluation of, your instruction it is not kind of uh, you know let's say uh, evaluation of students performance directly okay mm -hmm. so you should maybe consider like that uh, informative evaluation we conduct post test but this doesn't mean that you are going to try to compare and pre and post uh, like in experimental studies mm -hmm. post test is just maybe to understand what kind of difficulties students are having during the instruction and what kind of uh, problems you have uh, like regarding or related to objectives and so forth. Let's make it short. Good one. Uh, I think everybody uh, has got the point. Uh, it's, it's similar to beta testing, but how, how we can do it in education or in instructional settings? <clears throat> okay. First of all, let me say uh, from the instructional design perspective, maybe in general later on, uh, from the instructional design perspective, most of the time, uh, let's say the administrators or any kind of stakeholders, they, they hate doing formative evaluation because it's costly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but what we want mainly, there are three, I mean, main steps in formative evaluation. So what we want from instructional designers or any kind of instru instructors who pretend as an instructional designer uh, to do the first step mainly because which is really a great and which includes mixed method. Mm -hmm. What that means one-to-one -one evaluation. So let's see what students are doing one-to-one. -one. Maybe you can interact with them during the instruction and you can let them use your system, use your instruction and maybe take advantage of whatever you do and you just observe them. You should have a checklist and maybe you can control uh, whether they are understanding uh, everything, what you design correctly, any kind of instructions, uh, any kind of topics, any kind of questions and just step by step, please do one-to-one -one evaluation by selecting the right, you know, the people from your sample, let's say the representatives your uh, represent, representatives of, uh, uh, of your sample. So this is the first one and the main one, but what we want from you, from instruction designers to do this. Mm -hmm. And the other part, after you do this one, maybe this, uh, you can do 
a small group evaluation mm -hmm. to be able to see that after one-to-one -one evaluation because normally you are supposed to revise if there is any uh, if there is any need to revise do the revisions after one-to-one -one evaluation after your observations and uh, any kind of data you have collected after one-to-one -one. Um, after the revisions do the small group evaluation and maybe you will see some different experiences because it's not one-to-one -one. there is no way uh, to interact with the you know the the students maybe small group evaluation you will you will be able to leave them alone whether they are going to be understand instructions they will do everything themselves mm -hmm. and the other step is field trial but those are a little bit uh, you know costly and we should maybe recommend do the first and maybe the the second step the small group evaluation and it's done formative evaluation uh, is kind of um, uh, validation of the study if you uh, look from the research perspective okay you design it you develop it and you have to validate it it's kind of a validation of your study whether everything works uh, correctly or not or let's say the first step of validation uh, part of your research mm -hmm. in general and uh, maybe you can just try to compare formative evaluation like kind of benchmark system and you just try to evaluate uh, your students' performance during the instruction, maybe at the end of each unit, at the end of the week, at the end of two weeks. So you, you are going to try to understand uh, the, whether everything is working uh, correctly uh, in your instruction. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can try to relate th this one to action research. If, uh, you are instructional designer and instructor to, you know, like at the same time. That means as an instructor, you just design your instruction and you can maybe uh, think that your action researcher, you can maybe redirect your research or redirect your instruction based on your, you know, uh, formative evaluation, formative or maybe let's say the, the performance check, like kind of process evaluation, not the product evaluation, mm -hmm. to be able to see what's going on with the performance uh, in your course. And maybe you can redirect your course or your design like an action researcher. Okay, great. Thank you so much. That's about it, right?